Hello YouTubers. How you diddling? Alright who? Today I are mostly be recording things I recorded yesterday that fucked up. Excuse my French. I was rather annoyed. Spent all day yesterday vlogging. And when I got back, recorded sort of about four hours of video. Got back, put it in. This camera here, you, I didn't really expect to get any sound from. Um, generally because it's not mic'd up, so this is all you get from this. Not good. Um, what had happened is my microphone wire had broke in the end of here. So I've had to put a different microphone in. So if the volume's not quite as good, I do apologise. Not if the volume, if the sound isn't quite as good, I apologise, idiot. Anywho, back to the vlogging question, or one of. I, uh, my whole idea was just to sort of apologise to people and say look I'm sorry I've not put so many vlogs up, up just lately uh, it's mainly because I've been spending more time with Mrs Skeggy which let's face it not a bad thing um, but also there are so many videos coming out you find yourself inundated totally inundated you don't know what to watch I've got my friends videos who I want to watch and so on even those I'm having to cut short and uh, just give a thumbs up and things like that normally I like to comment on every video I watch um, there's only one person's normally or two maybe who I don't always comment on um, and that's generally because I know how hard it is to have to try and... Re hold on let's get off this bloody bumpy road that's better. I know what it's like when you've got to try and reply to every comment. And without being somewhat funny, you know, a lot of them are just a re-repeat comment from somebody else. Nice video, mate. Um, might not seem much, it's nothing, you know, to, to sort of reply. Cheers, buddy, most appreciated, ride safe or something like that. But uh, it's not that easy because when you find yourself doing that to 50 different people and so on and I don't know whether people notice but if somebody leaves me a long comment then generally it's because they've discussed something in the, in the video so they'll get a reasonably sized comment back if it's not just easily explained. Now, I've done it before where I've left fairly long comments in a video and I've actually asked two or three questions in that video. Is this this, is that that, you know, and so on. And I've got thanks. And that's it. They didn't answer the question you asked. Now, if you're not going to answer the questions asked if somebody actually asked you a question, my reply to that is disable your comments. What's the point of having comments if all you want us to do is to pat you on the back and say you're a good lad you are, then there's no point in having comments on there. And why are you doing it, you know? Um, but anyway, the sure amount of comments uh, needed to reply to is more than enough watching videos and then my other problem of putting videos up I go out I record a video I come back we just get out of this situation away now anyway as I was saying yeah my problem has been putting videos up I go out and record a video which until yesterday had sound um, 
quite happy with that. But it's normally been a subject matter. Something relevant, something that's happened in the news, something about a ride out or somebody else's ride out they're hoping to attend. You know, whatever, you know the usual stuff. Um, and I get back and then I put it to one side because I don't want to get straight stuck into editing. And the next thing you know, I'm suddenly sort of <laughs> too late for it, if you like. I've missed the opportunity to put it out. And the problem here is like sort of approaching somebody who you don't know and telling them it, it was so and so's birthday last Wednesday. It's pointless information. And that's what you would have been getting. So I'd sort of thought to myself, what's the point? I may as well, you know, just wait till I've got some decent information to give you or a conversation of types of sorts, you know. So I intend to get uh, back on the situation as soon as possible, hopefully. Yeah, yesterday uh, it's quite gutted. Good four hours uh, talking to yourself. Got some great footage. No, no audio. Some great views over the edge of the top of the walls, looking out over all the flat, all the fens, and then I've got. Um, you know, Bolingbroke Castle and things, just walking around and because the camera's here all you can see all the time is, you know, my dash moving about <laughs> not a lot of use to anybody still, mine is not to reason why, as they say anyway I've got uh, one, two this weekend coming up, and hopefully I get this video out in time, this weekend coming up, <coughs> on the Friday, which is the 1st of June, I'm supposed to be going down to the Ace Calf to meet up with Bulldog Gaz. Now then, I can't make it. Sorry Gaz. All I can say is if anybody else is available to or wants to go down and meet Bulldog Gaz from Germany go down and see him or we'll make arrangements with him catch up with him on um, sort of Instagram, Facebook Snapchat, whatever find him, hunt him down tell him you'll meet him just so it's not a wasted journey I'm pretty sure he's going to be there with Andy Mankamp as well I'm not sure secondly um, it's Mackie Mace's um, meet up on the 2nd of June. <coughs> now I've got to get down here now. Look at this. Yeah, so it is on the 2nd of June. Um, I'm doing that. All being well. It all depends on my back. And then on the 3rd of June, you've got the Dove Cottage ride. Now, I've been saying all along, yes, I should be able to do the two. I've just done what I should have done a long while ago, and I've just had a look at the actual ride out. <coughs> the thing is, by the time I've done the ride two, and the ride out, and then the ride home, I'm knackered. Um, it's one of them situations where I'm not quite sure what's the best. I may even just do something like uh, go to Melton Mowbray and then work out the time they're supposed to be arriving back at, you know, watch them off. Work out the time and then go and sit and wait for them at Dove Cottage. 
and it all comes down to my back my back just can't take at the moment just can't take the riding which is so annoying because at one time a day riding actually eased my back oh you love it traffic eh come on move along Anywho, as we were saying, hope all this uh, works out. I will attend what I can attend, and obviously, if I can't, I won't. I'm sorry if I'm letting people down, but hey, home life and health take priority I'm afraid just like many out there that uh, can't do these rides for various different reasons even if it's only something stupid like uh, well it's not stupid but, you know like a family matter is like sort of you know oh no sorry it's my daughter's birthday normally I'd come but the wife's gonna get really pissed off if I don't she wants me to be there even though when you get there you're not actually gonna be doing anything one of those situations, you know. <clears throat> it all depends. a new vlog <laughs> anyway you take care ride safe don't know what I wouldn't do bye